Last week, you needed a server rack to pull off top-tier AI vision and reasoning. Today, a 7 billion parameter rebel does it on a gaming rig and still schools models 10 times larger. Xiaomi just cracked the formula. Mimo VL7B sees every pixel, reads every line, thinks out loud, and refuses to play by the old size rules. Here's the wild story behind that upset. Think of a vision language model as a brain that can look at photos, watch videos, read text, then talk about all of it in one coherent stream. Most systems that do this well are huge 30 or 70 billion parameters or more. Xiaomi has squeezed similar punch into 7 billion parameters, which means far less hardware is needed to run or fine tune it. That's the first headline, smaller but mighty. Inside Mimo VL7B, you'll find three major parts that constantly hand data back and forth. First comes a vision transformer. A transformer is just a fancy neural network layer, and this one sees images in the same resolution you and I see on a good monitor. So details never get blurred away before the model thinks about them. Second is a tiny slab of code called a projector. Its only job is to translate what the vision side spits out into a language the text side understands. Last is the Mimo 7B language backbone, the bit that writes sentences and explains itself step by step. The language backbone has been tuned from the start to do reasoning, not just quick replies, so it is comfortable spilling thousands of words if you let it. Now Xiaomi didn't wake up one morning, flip a switch, and get a supermodel. They trained Mimo VL7B in four long phases, burning through 2.4 trillion that's trillion with a T pieces of data called tokens. A token can be a word, part of a word, a pixel chunk, or a piece of code. Phase one is basically kindergarten, the vision and language parts are frozen. The projector is the new kid and it looks at 300 billion image caption pairs until it learns that a visual blob of orange with a green stalk lines up with the word carrot. Only after that warm up do they unfreeze the vision piece in phase two, toss in 167 billion lines of mixed web pages, textbooks, and PDF snippets, and let both sides learn how pictures and sentences coexist. Phase three is where things get wild. They feed in 1.4 trillion tokens that cover almost everything you can photograph or write about. Street signs captured in shaky phone shots, diagrams from physics books, screenshots of phone apps, even short video clips with captions tied to exact timestamps. While that's happening, they keep sequence length, the model's memory buffer at 8,000 tokens, which is already generous. But in phase four, they crank that buffer up to 32,000 tokens. At that point, the model can read an entire college textbook chapter, stare at a high-resolution photo, and still have memory left to produce explanations that run on for pages. Huh. During that last phase, they also flood the training mix with synthetic reasoning data, problems that require multi-step logic, each written out with chain of thought so the model learns to reason explicitly rather than guess. All this data wasn't scraped blindly. Xiaomi filtered it with perceptual hashes so the training set wouldn't secretly overlap test sets. They recaptured images using a specialist captioner to improve grammar and context. They filtered interleaved image text pairs by knowledge density, basically keeping the useful stuff tossing the fluff. For OCR, they added images where text is blurry, handwritten or half covered, so the model learns resilience. They recaptioned videos scene by scene, each with exact start and end times. And because many apps in China use Chinese interfaces, they built an engine to synthesize screenshots in Chinese, preventing the model from freezing when it sees a Hansi button. By the end of those four phases, we get MIMO VL7 BSFT, the supervised fine-tuned checkpoint. But Xiaomi wasn't done. They pushed the model through another gauntlet called Mixed On Policy Reinforcement Learning, M-O-R-L, which sounds like pure jargon, but here's the idea. They let the model answer new questions, then scored those answers in two ways. Some tasks have answers you can check with a rule or a calculator. If the model predicts a bounding box, the system measures how well that box overlaps the right object. If it solves an algebra problem, a script plugs the final number into math verify and gives a thumbs up or down. Those are verifiable rewards. Other tasks are open-ended, like giving helpful instructions without being rude or biased. For those, Xiaomi trained separate reward models, 
one that reads text only, another that accepts images on thousands of human-ranked answers, so the model learns what people prefer. Crucially, the reinforcement loop is on policy. That means each time the model writes an answer, the training code instantly measures reward and updates the model using that fresh experience instead of mixing it into a big replay buffer. Xiaomi wrapped every reward function behind a tiny web service, so response to reward latency is a blink. They also normalize rewards to a zero to one range and scale gradients by answer length so the model can't cheat by writing essays when a single number is enough. This final training step produces MIMO VL7 BRL, and the improvement is clear. On the massive mixed subject benchmark MMMU, the supervised version scores 64.6%. After reinforcement learning, that climbs to 66.7. On CharXI, a document plus chart benchmark, it jumps from 54 plus to 56.5, blowing past much larger open models by double digits. Its counting accuracy climbs from 87 to 90 plus. It even handles the vision language models are blind trap set images that try to trick models at nearly 80%, which is solid. Video understanding is strong too. The model scores over 67 on video MME without subtitles and 50 MOU on charades STA, where you have to mark start and end times of an action in a clip. On text-only math, it looks almost cocky. 95.4 on Math 500, 50 plus on the latest AIME competition questions, numbers many STEM students would envy. Where this model truly shocks is in multimodal reasoning. Olympiad Bench is full of exam style science problems. MIMO VL7B hits 59.4. On Math versus Diagram Heavy Slice, it posts 71.5. Those scores match or beat Quinn 2.5, VL72B, and QVQ72B preview, both 10 times larger. Xiaomi's 7 billion model now snaps at the heels of closed systems like GPT-40 and Gemini Pro. Practical utility matters too. Anyone building an agent that clicks around web pages will notice Mimo's GUI skills. Visual Web Bench asks models to locate information inside full web pages. Mimo nails about 80% neck and neck with GPT-4.0. It pinpoints buttons on ScreenSpot V2 screenshots with 90 plus center accuracy, and it handles the brutal OS World G grounding test at 56%, edging past a specialized GUI model called UI TARS. In short, this thing can look at a desktop screenshot and rattle off the coordinates of save as like it's trivial, Xiaomi wanted to know whether that translates to human approval. So they ran an arena style showdown where GPT-40 judged paired answers. After thousands of rounds, MIMO VL7B RL sits at the top of the open source stack, just shy of Claude Sonnet. The reinforcement phase alone added more than 20 ELO points, which for large language models is a healthy leap. One snag they admit trying to improve everything at once is delicate. Tasks that reward long chain of thought, such as multi-step physics, push the model to write more. Grounding tasks, where brevity is king, tug the other way. Xiaomi is still tuning that balance, but they already see steady gains by shuffling the curriculum. Think of it as teaching counting on Mondays, proofs on Tuesdays, and mixing on Fridays, so the model forgets nothing. Training curves from phase four tell a reassuring story. They plotted accuracy on nine different benchmarks every few billion tokens, and the lines keep climbing right up to the end of the 450 billion token run. Average answer length grows alongside accuracy, proving that long reasoning isn't just filler. In reinforcement experiments, their on-policy variant keeps improving past 45,000 samples, whereas a baseline called vanilla GRPO flattens around 20,000. That's good news if you want to run smaller reinforcement learning loops on your own gear. Performance doesn't stall early because Xiaomi released both checkpoints and the entire 50 plus task evaluation harness, the community can reproduce results without guesswork. The code base includes a fully documented GUI action space, JSON snips for click, scroll, drag, input, key press, and so on, so it plugs straight into existing agent controllers. Here's what MIMO VL7B can already do. 
It reads labels, solves invoices, understands everyday photos, counts accurately, and works through school-level math, all with sharp reasoning instead of guessing. Unflashy Demo has the model acting like a personal shopper. Xiaomi opened an online store page, asked the model in plain language to pick the Xiaomi SU7 with a custom paint job and specific interior, then add it to the wish list. Mimo parsed the screenshot, clicked the right color swatch, scrolled, selected trim, pressed the wish list icon, and finally produced a JSON action trace that an automation controller could run without edits. That's the promise of high quality grounding plus reasoning rolled into a single 7 billion parameter brain. So this model essentially proves three things. One, curation matters. Mixing reasoning heavy data later in pre-training keeps squeezing gains instead of plateauing. Two, on policy reinforcement remains stable on small models and keeps improving deep into the sample count. Three, you can push perception, grounding, and reasoning forward together if you juggle the reward signals carefully. Put bluntly, the gap between hobbyist size open models and top proprietary stacks is closing faster than almost anyone predicted a year ago. All right, what do you think? Will small, sharp models like this wipe out the need for massive AI stacks? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and like if you're into this kind of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.